Well, I know what you're talking about At the very first sight of trouble There's nowhere to be found Jesus stays when others go Never leave your side He's your friend in the stormy weather He is good all the time Oh, God is good, yes He's good all the time. God is good, you know He is. He's good all the time. You can search your world over. No greater friend you'll find. He's not good just once in a while. He's good all the time. God is good, well, yeah. He's good all the time. God is good. You know he is. He's good all the time. You can turn He's not good just once in a while. He's already heard his plan. He puts food in your kitchen when you don't have a dime. He's not good just now and then, no, he's good all the time. Oh, God is good, yes, he is. He's good all the time. Oh, God is good, you know. He's good all the time. You can search your world over. When you don't have a dime Oh, he's not good just once in a while No, he's good all the time Oh, God is good, yes, he is He's good all the time Oh, God is good, you know he is He's good all the time You can search your whole world Once in a while, he's good all the
earth, oh the earth is filled with its glory. It's filled with your glory. Oh, hallelujah. Oh,
Who cares what anybody thinks about that? Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. I just found that. He said, I'm not ashamed of this city called the way. I'm not ashamed of a holiness walk. I'm not ashamed to be called one of them. I'm not
about these things. And if we ain't careful, we'll not thank him when he moves. And I tell you, he's been moving. Hallelujah. In my life. Hallelujah. In my family's life. Praise God. In this church that I love so well. I love him. What do you? Praise God. You are my family. Praise God. And I tell you what, I've been excited. Hallelujah. That service we had Wednesday night, the services we've been having, praise God, it's exciting. Hallelujah. Talking about what was revealed, my God, an explosion going to happen on this altar. Hallelujah. I believe it. Praise God, and I'm looking for it. Praise God. Hallelujah. God moving and blessing people. Praise God. It was so good to see Sister Kay get in. Different ones getting in, I tell you. Blessing my soul. Praise God. I thank God for what I feel. I thank God for who I know who He is. Hallelujah. And He knows who I am. Praise God. I ain't just something, nothing to Him. We are something to Him. We may be nothing to this world, but we are something to to him we are someone special to him don't he make you and you and you and you don't he make you feel special don't he make you feel special that's the way he has he makes you feel special and uh, that's just the way god is praise the lord and sister velma jean matt's mom down here on this earth praise god she had a way of making you feel loved making you feel special you just felt that warmth from her well that's the kind of feeling but much more we get from God he loves us and he cares for us so if this world don't seem like it's caring much for you praise God when you don't seem like you count for much praise the Lord he loves you praise God he cares praise God hallelujah and that's the one that matters I want people to love me I want people to care but people don't always care for you people don't always count you as anything but praise God he does and you know uh, I guess sometimes the closer you get to the Lord the less the world thinks of you praise God praise God but I know that God has the answer I know that God is the answer and I'm telling you he has moved. I've seen him moving this week. I'm telling you, I've seen him moving and I am so encouraged. Church, home, family, and I thank God for that. Praise God. I thank God for that. Hallelujah. And the Lord has, I mean, he spoke here. Somebody testified. Praise God. Not too long ago, just exactly what I've been praying Lord, help. God, move. God, move in this situation. And that was just an encouragement for the Lord to let me know, hey, I got things under control. Hey, I am able. Praise the Lord when circumstances, hallelujah, don't look in favor of you. Praise God. All we got to do is have God on our side. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's what matters, having Him on our side. He's the one I want to please. Praise God. I thank God. I thank God for His Spirit that's been here. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you, praise God. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Praise God. It's time to do what? And we've been doing it, ain't we? We've been worshiping the Lord. Praise God. It's good. It's good to feel it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come in the house and begin to praise Him. And what does He do? Our praises are comely to Him. They're attractive to Him. And He comes right down. Oh, what a special thing. Just starting this service tonight. My God, my God. There ain't nothing like it. If, if others ain't here, if the Lord's here, oh, He's the main one. We miss others when they're not here. Praise God, we miss them. Brother Johnny and I was talking about that last night. Our loved ones. Praise God. We want our loved ones here. Praise God, our church babies. Every one of you that's a member here and you've got kids, they're the church's babies. Church babies. Our church babies. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I want your kids saved. Your grandkids saved. I want mine in the fold. Praise God. Yours, mine, all. Praise God. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
let's not stop praising him. Let's just obey the Lord. It's been so wonderful so far. Praise yeah. the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Give me just a second. Uh, something's been on my heart for a little while now, and I ain't really sure when it was supposed to come out, but I guess right now is the time. Uh, you ever have the Lord put something on your heart and sometimes you're doing working, doing whatever, and it comes out. And then you kind of put it on the back burner and it keeps coming out and it keeps coming out. Well, this is when Philip told Jesus, he said, uh, Lord, show us the Father and it suffices us. And Jesus simply turned to him and he said, have I been so long with you and you haven't known me? And that's what he's been saying to my heart over and over and over. And I didn't know what I was supposed to do with it. But I'm telling you tonight, has he been with you so long and you haven't known him? Oh. Honey, each one of us that bowed a knee and got saved, uh, he's been there ever since. Has he been so long with you and you haven't known him? Honey, he's here tonight. Uh, all these testimonies has testified of his presence here tonight, the Holy Ghost has been moving in His presence here tonight. We stand. Uh, has He been so long with us here tonight and we haven't known Him? Glory to His name. He's here right now. Praise be to God. Glory. Glory to the Lamb of God. Good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Just something real simple. Simple, simple. I'm simple. Blessing more. When I come in church tonight, I feel good. And Burl, it's simple. He looked at me and said, Are you ready for some more of them beans and onions? <laughs> that don't go along with nothing, does it? I said, Well, sure, I am. But you know, last night when I left here, I feel like I could never eat another bean. <laughs> I'm afraid tonight, that's why we're going to be in the spiritual if we're not careful. We'll get in real good and the Lord will bless us. It seems like we just start slacking up then and we'll miss church a night or two or a week or two. Thank God, but I don't want to be that way. And he, when he first touched me years ago, thank God, I tell you, put a zeal in my heart that I want to feel him come every day. I'm not talking about just sitting back. I'm talking about really feeling the power of God. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Just real quick. They said, uh, I thought about the other day, I asked somebody about something. They said, I don't know. We'll Google it. That's just, that just, I'm simple, simple. And I said, yeah. I said, you can find anything on Google. I thought about what's wrong with this. Years ago, we talked about old time heartfelt conviction. Years ago, when we had problems and people had things in their life, it wasn't no Google, but they were still not in prayer. Hallelujah. Still away. Still away. Still away. Still away. Don't you just feel good in God tonight?
and I'll be honest I don't know what to do and perhaps it's a mystery unfolding and all Lord, without you, I will just pretend that I have all the answers, for I am weary and I need my strength in you. But if you hold my hand right now, that's all that matters. And all I know is I can't make it, Lord, without you. And all I can make it Lord without you and I'll be honest I don't know what to do and perhaps it's a And all I know is I can't make it, Lord, without you. And all I know is I can't make it, Lord, without you. It's a mystery unfolding And all I know is I can't make it Lord, without you
enjoy this and uh, come to you with the evening's offering. And I felt like I'd ask Brother J, Brother JC, to come and preach for us tonight. God bless, God bless. me to preach what I preach Friday night. Lord, we praise you. But you know, it never goes the same way. Yeah. Always something different in it. Yeah. But he all, he pointed something out to me Wednesday when I was here. And that stuck with me. And I hope it might stick with some of you all. I will attempt to do it with the help of the Lord. So pray for me. I'm in Second Kings, first chapter and verse 10. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven. There came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. And and me and Brother Jonathan got talking about this. I don't want to see fire come down. Take everybody out of here, out of our sight, what I'm talking about. But I do want, when I look at you, Brother Burnell, I want to be able to look and see who you really are. I want to see the Spirit of God. And I do want to see the fire consume this place. Get it out of the way so that God can be God. Who is willing to let God be God tonight? Well, if we start moving in the Spirit of God, Brother Burley, we're going to see things done through the Spirit of God. Nothing that the flesh is. Flesh is not going to get no glory when it comes to God. He said, my glory I will not give to another. So if you're doing it trying to get glory, you might as well get flash out of the way. Say, okay, God, if I be God, sure. let fire come down. Consume this right here. Okay. Get rid of this yeah. earthly body. Yeah. Get rid of this yeah. aggravating mind that comes and torments people. The minds, they destroy us if we pay attention to them. So it's, it's time, Brother Burnell, that we let, let the fire consume us. Amen. Again, also he sent unto him another captain of fifty with his with his fifty, and he answered and said unto him, O man of God, thus hath the king said, Come down quickly. He he put some fear in it. He put some fear in the king. Come down here. I want to talk to you. I want to see just what you've got. But now I'm going to go to where me and Brother John read uh, Wednesday night. Right? Mm -hmm. Three and uh, I want to go right here. Where Jesus was baptized, and I, I'm not going to preach very long. Uh, I don't guess. 
I indeed baptize, I'm in third chapter of Matthew, 11th verse, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Who is coming after us tonight? Who's coming after us that's mightier than we are? Jesus is a coming. He's coming after. He said after me. And I put it, He's coming after me. He's coming to do away with this fleshly man, Brother Burnell. He's coming to fill me with the Holy Ghost to consume this flesh, get rid of it, so He can have His way in our life. And that's all He's wanting, is to be the leader of us. He is. If we are willing to submit, we can't go wrong. And I praise God. Boy, I do praise Him. I praise my God tonight. I honor my God. There's nothing that I am. When I, you see me up here, it is Jesus. Because I am bashful, I'm backward, I'm a, I'm ashamed to speak out in front of people. But when the Holy Ghost starts moving, I ain't ashamed of nothing to nobody. I ain't afraid of nobody. The greater one is in me. He walks in me. He talks out of me. He makes me leap. He makes me run. He makes me shout. I'm not ashamed to shout. Jesus! Because that's where our power comes from. Is that name tonight? Comes through the name of Jesus Christ. He, Paul said, I don't, I desire not to know nothing among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Amen. If we all would get that mind, we won't know nothing about nobody, what's going on in your life, unless God showed me or showed you, hey, Brother Jason ain't got a problem. He needs prayer. And the Spirit can do that. The Spirit can do that. He can. Consume this flesh, come right in and know my thoughts, Brother Brunel. Man, he, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Now we know when we repented and was born again, and some of us received the Holy Ghost immediately, but some of us had to turn, had to wait for, it took me three years. Three years to get the Holy Ghost. I got hit. Now has it got me? That's what he's wanting. To, he's wanting to control this right here. Brother Winston. He's wanting to be in control. But listen what he sent with the Holy Ghost. He said, Baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. With fire. Fire will get rid of this earthly body if we will permit it. That's it. That's right. It says, whose fan is in his hand, and he will, he will now thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff. All right, what's he wanting to burn up? The chaff. What's hanging on us? Flash. That's the chap he's talking about. He will burn it up. With unquenchable fire. It says, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbid him, saying, I have need. Do we, do we really know that we have need to be baptized of Jesus? Do we really realize we need to be baptized with the Holy Ghost? Like he said right here. John said he would baptize us with the Holy Ghost and with fire. We got the Holy Ghost. Where's the fire at? But I praise God tonight. It says, but John forbid him, saying, I have need to be, ba be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it, 
suffering. To be so now. He said now. Right now. Right now. He, that's what He's wanting us to do. Suffer to be so now, church. Invite Him in. Let Him be Lord of our life. JC, I'm talking to me. It says, For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. All right. They've already lived their life. They went away. They went back to where they came from. Now God said, What would what did Jesus say we were? The light of the world. So what are we gotta do? We gotta suffer one another and we gotta fulfill the righteousness of God while we're here in this body. If we get rid of this old stinking flash. Well, Jay, how can we be the light of the world? It takes the fire, don't it? Fire! I mean, it's what he's fire. It's a candle. It's fire! The only way it's going to work hey, is the fire. The fire, the fire is bright it takes and the it's a shining light. And it takes the oil to get that fire. Yes, it does. It takes the oil. It takes the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's what the oil is. That's what the Holy Ghost represents. Is the oil. That's right. Well, I mean, now, Brother Dave, whenever he's talking, you know, Bible said if any man build on this foundation, hay, wood, or stubble, yep. or gold, or precious stones, every man's work will be tried by fire. By fire. If we're walking around in the flesh, and that fire falls, we're consumed. It's, it's going to consume us. I mean, it's going to. We're going to be yep. destroyed in the flames of hell. But that yep. same God who is a consuming fire, if we've been born again, and that oil is there. That oil is just consume what's in it. It doesn't consume the vessel. It consumes what's in it. That's why Isaiah said, I went down to the house of the potter and I saw a vessel marred in the hands of the potter. Come on, but he brought John. it again, a new vessel. Why? That it would hold the oil. And when that right. oil is there, the flame could be on it. That's the fire right. could be on it. David said, you anoint Come my on. head with oil. My yeah. cup runs over. And when the cup runs over, the fire can burn That's as much right. as it wants. But the vessel's not consumed. That's right. Just like, just like Brother Bill said, the he three, uh, three Hebrew children stood in the middle of that fire yeah. and the fire never touched them. Not the smell of smoke came on them. The strongest men in the army, physically strong men of that army, came up to that fire and it killed them. That same fire that purified one. That same one that purified yeah. one killed the other. Just like yeah. the burning bush there with Moses. It Come wasn't on. consumed. Yeah. But Moses had come into it, hadn't he taken his gone. shoes off and recognized uh -huh. he's on holy ground, he would have been consumed. That's right. He would have. That same fire that was a light to the children of Israel was darkness Come to on. the Egyptians. That same Holy Ghost that we have, this world cannot receive him. That's what right. the Bible says. They cannot receive him and they cannot understand that and they cannot recognize that fire. But we know what that fire That's is. Right. And we will be baptized with the Holy Ghost oh, yeah. and with fire. With fire. With fire. Oh, it comes with fire's gone out, there's something wrong. Yeah, there. That's something. right. Bible said in, in First Come Samuel, on. it said an ear of the lamp of God went out uh -huh. in the house of the Lord. Uh -huh. Why? Because they didn't keep oil in the thing. That's right. If me and you don't keep oil in it, yeah. one of these days the Bible says there's going to come a call at midnight. And there's going to be something that's not going to oh, have I any oil or any fire. Burning. They're going to run on, and try to get some, but it's going to be too late. Yeah. We've got to keep the oil in it. Right. We've got to keep the flow going. The power of God yeah. works. That's right. Come on, Amen. Amen. What did our sons take into the temple? Strange fire. Strange fire. And there's a lot of strange fires around too. A lot of strange fires. That God consumed them. That's right. Consumed them. Consumed them. Struck them down there. He killed them graveyard days. For trying to bring something in that wasn't, that wasn't God. And He will us too. That's why we need the real thing in the church. It's not a form of godliness. It's not to work something out. That's right. the real deal. The real fire of God. Not trying to offer strange fire or bring it in on God, a new part. But the you, real deal. Yes, God. Amen. Come on. That's good, ain't it? Ain't it good when two men can agree together? Especially when it comes to the Spirit of God. When the Spirit is the moving, God is the moving. God is the moving. And we're talking about Praise God. Well, have you said he had to keep walking. Have a walk. Walk. I said David had to walk. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He kept on walking. If he had stood still, something might have come up on him that he wouldn't have been able to handle. If he had set up camp there in that valley, something would have overtook him. How come he can walk through that valley? 
Because he said, I beheld the Lord always before me. Always before me. He was always there. He was That's always right. walking before me. Amen. As long as we got in before us, that light of the world That's you're right. talking about, it don't matter what valley we go to, in what battle we go right. into, he'll be with us. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I told Jonathan a little bit earlier, I said, you know, we've got two stalkers following us around all the time. He said, what do you mean? <laughs> I said, well, I said, if we start having a bad day or something, I didn't say that to him, but you know, if we do start having a bad day or something happening in our life, we can call on our stalkers, the one that's stalking us. What, what did David say? Who was following him all the days of his life? Surely, goodness and mercy. Call on one of them fellows when something comes your way. Hey, I got somebody with me, devil. I got somebody here to fight for me. We all do. Anything tries to come near our dwelling place, Jesus said nothing would come night. Did he say it? All right, if nothing can't come near it, what's in there to keep it out? The fire of God. The fire is there, church. The fire is here. All we got to do is like Jim Hornet used to say, Chunk it up every now and then. Chunk it up, church. Yeah, come on. Come on. I'm done. Come on. Come on. That's right now, Jay. Now remember what it said. Whose fan is in his hand. That's right. Now come on. You got to fan that car a little bit. That's right. That's Let right. the devil get, a, get in that I, service. No, I'm done. He, he, he ain't. I'm not. I'm done. Yeah, God. Come on now. I praise you, Jesus. The Bible said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were in one place in one accord. We've been there tonight. We have one place we're in one accord. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind filled all the house where they were sitting, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like it as a fire set upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Everybody in that church service, huh? And 20 yeah, people filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That fire you're talking about came down. Yeah. Well, what's the difference now than then? Yeah, I know. Not a bit of difference. I know. Not a bit of difference. Glory. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord, bless you. He said, I'm the Lord and I change not. That's yeah. right, Church. That fire that was there with Moses still the same fire that, that's right here right now. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Who is it? I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't. I don't, Church. I don't. Preach it, brother. But I tell you what, I feel it like Jonathan said. I feel it running up and down. Oh, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I know who it is. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Look, I, I, I'm going to tell you something else. Oh, you may, may not understand it when Abraham said, I know I live. Or oh, my Redeemer lives. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All right. What are we tonight? Bless Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who's living in us? Our Redeemer, right? So we got a right to redeem them, some, and pour them out of the fire. That's right. That's right. So if you pull them out of the fire, you're redeeming them, setting them back up on the solid rock, letting them go. Hey, there's a foundation you get on. Jesus is that foundation tonight. He said, and pull them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. That's what we're talking about. This is the garments spotted by the flesh. We've got to get that out of the way. We do. I do. I do. I do. You know what? I kind of honor that God permitted me to get up here tonight. I do. I, like I told you, I am shy. I'm backwards. But when the Holy Ghost starts moving, I don't care. And I shouldn't care because he is not, there's not a shy bone about him because he's all scared. Right? He is. Anybody else? What happened? All right, sir. The Bible set up on Mount Carmel one time. 
All the prophets of Baal stood there. Yeah. Yeah. Elijah stood there by himself. Yeah. But Elijah knew it wasn't him that was doing that. He didn't care if it was 40, or 450 or 45 million. It didn't make no difference. He said, if Baal be God, follow him. Yeah. If God be God, follow him. And what did he say? But let the God that answers by fire, fire. let him be God. Yeah. And when they done everything they could and couldn't, and couldn't even produce a tendril and smoke, then Elijah goes back and repairs the altar. That's what we're doing. We're repairing the altar. Yeah. We pray the prayer. We soak it down. That way the devil can't get any glory from it. We're soaking it down with water. And that way, if we see it happen, we know it has to be God. And he prayed the simple prayer. And the Bible said the fire fell from heaven. And the people began God, to say, the I Lord, you, He is God. The Lord, He is God. That's still what people are looking for. If we be men of God, let the fire come down. That's Amen. what people come to a Pentecostal church to see. If it is Him, we want to see the power of God. We want to see the real thing more than a form of religion, more than a form of godliness, more than rituals and motion, but the real power of God. That's what Paul said. I come to you in the demonstration. Yeah. Not with enticing words of man's, of man's wisdom, wisdom right. but in the demonstration and the power That's right. That's of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. But right. since you got me up here, I'm going to go ahead and go to the second chapter. I want to read two verses, maybe three. Uh, 19 and 20. It says that, and the, and the men of that other city said unto him, unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, what the statues is it? S I T U A T I O N. Situation. The situation. Okay. I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant. God bless. God bless. As my Lord seeth. But the waters. <coughs> the waters is what? No. Nasty. In other words, I'll, I'll see what it says about it. Bad. It says the waters is not, and the ground bare. Ain't that what the churches is today? They are. The waters ain't a flowing. They're getting stagnated. They are. They're stagnated. Why? Because they ain't exercising what God give them. Tell you why? Because ain't no rain happening. He said, "Out, out of your bellies will flow rivers." That's it. That's living water. Not just one river. Rivers of living water. Glory, glory, glory. Those rivers should be flowing here. That's it. That's right. Out of me. I'm talking about me. It says, and the ground barren. Now listen. What he what he said. Here's what we're lacking. It says, and he said, bring me a new cruise. Something new. He won't go in something being used, something bad. He's looking for a new one. He said, we're new creatures. Paul did. Created in who? Christ Jesus. It says, and he said, bring me a new cruise. And put, now, here, listen. Put salt therein, and they brought it to him. Mm -hmm. After we get salted, we'll be all right for the master's use, church. And if they want to get us some, I am done. I mean, I'm done. Just a second. Bless the Lord. If you've ever been in a car, and the car gets behind you, It'll make you run yeah. away from the plane. Yeah. If you ever go into a car, you see a car up there, you're going to stop, ain't you? Mm -hmm. Is that not right? That's mm -hmm. naturally speaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. The power of God gets in your life. You see somebody that's close to the Lord, but it looks like they're going to a car. Uh -huh. or they're Come on, John. Or on yeah. yeah. Thank God. So you ever see anybody that's really interested in what God does? It looks like them people. You ever heard anybody say that in the natural? Say like them people look like they're going to a bar. All right, uh -huh. seriously. Yes, then. sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Come on in. It looks like they're blazing in the bar of God. Uh huh. Uh -huh. 
Amen. God bless. That's good. What order for there to be a fire? You gotta have, you gotta have fuel source. Come on. Don't you? Mm -hmm. you gotta have oxygen. Mm -hmm. You gotta have an ignition source. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Please, our ignition source. Amen. The wind of God is the oxygen that we get. Now, the only thing that's missing is something to set on top. And that's us. Yeah. If he, we've got just like it said, we got to allow him. Suffer it to be so. You read that. Suffer it to be so. That means allow it to be so. But we've got to be. That we've got to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. You want to sacrifice? You know how you knew if a sacrifice was accepted or not? Only one way. It didn't matter what else you've done to it. There's only one way to know if it was accepted. If the fire did not fall on it, it was not accepted. That's why mm -hmm. Cain was mad because the fire didn't come on his sacrifice and Abel's was. Well, what we're doing, we're presenting our bodies. We're presenting it. We can't produce the fire. That's right. But if we'll present it to him as a as a true sacrifice to him, the That's fire right. will come down. It will. He was like, well, the Holy Ghost was for them or yeah. whatever. No, the Holy Ghost was for you and your children and them that are far off, even as many as the Lord thy God shall call. Yeah, call. It is for us, but we have got to present our bodies to allow that fire to come down. Amen. 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 That's what happened tonight. That's why the service is going so good. Yeah. It's because people come with their mind on the Lord. They come with their eyes on Him. What worried about everything else and the fire come down. Yes, God. And oh, how great it is. Like, like I said, we don't know what to do with it, but we can sure enjoy it while it's burning. That's right. Amen. 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 And I, I just want I just jump all over the place. But I, I want to read in, here in Luke chapter 22. Maybe a couple verses. Bless Lord. <clears throat> For I say unto you. Now listen, this is Jesus talking, church. For I say unto you that this, that this, that is written must be, must yet be accomplished. In who? Who's reading with me? He says, in me. Must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors for the things concerning me hath an end. A thing concerning him now, what he's talking about, he's going to fulfill everything God gave him to do. And it's going to come to an end for him. For him. Right? So, so when he was on the cross, he looked up and said, Father, it is finished. He said, into thy hands. I commend my spirit. What are we doing tonight? Whose hands is our spirit going to? Where are we going to? Are we completely submitting? Come on. And with thy hands, I commend my spirit. And once we get there, Vicky, and, and I, I, I don't like to say this word, but all hell is going to break loose for the devil. When we get to where we can commend our spirit into his hands. Yeah, come on. It will. It's going to break loose for us. Well, Jay, at, you know, at the end of our life, can we say the same thing? It is finished. That's right. That everything you That's right. Do. Just like Brother Bill said there a minute ago, Paul at the end of his life, he said, I'm now ready to be offered. Yeah. The time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Mm -hmm. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge will give me on that day, not to me only, but to all of them the, who love his and That's him. right. And, and, and here, here. I want to read this next verse. Uh, it's verse 38. It says, And they said, Now who's they? It's us. Church. And they said, Lord, behold. Now, Mary Jonathan talked about this before too. Here are two swords. Right? And he said unto them, It is enough. 
-hmm. We got a right to tell the devil it's enough. Amen. We do, church. Amen. We don't understand that. We don't realize the power that we do possess. And we do possess it. Sure. It's there. <coughs> but we've got to know how to use it. We've never been taught that we can do these things. But once we lay aside the flesh, Sister Sharon, we can do the miracles of God. That's right. That's exactly right. We can't, but me and Jesus can. We can't. Me and Him can. Right? If I give Him full control of my body, yes, sir, He will do signs and wonders like Brother Jonathan talks about. And I really am done. You know what, Brother Winston? I am blessed. I praise God for my blessings. And, and they ask me all the time how I feel. And I, I say great. And I do feel great in the spirit. Sometimes this old body feels a little bad, but that don't mean the inward man ain't perfect. He feels no pain. So, I'm done, John. I did. They won't sing. Praise God. Praise God. Me 
all my mind When I get down to pray Let it be what I find Found I can make it through the day Without His holy anointing When I stand face to face Hell's laughing at me Let your anointing begin to rise up in me Found I got strength and power in His holy anointing Yes, the anointing Yes, the anointing Oh, breathe it in, breathe it out Let me cry, let me pray and shout
with my Lord. I believe I'll pray right on. I believe I'll pray right on. I believe I'll pray right on. See if I can go. Go a little farther with my Lord. Oh, since I came this far, I believe I'll go a little farther. Oh, since I came this far, I'll go a little farther. Oh, since I came this far, I believe I'll go a little farther. Believe I'll go a little farther. with my Lord. 